Okay, hey guys, this is Rubik's Cuber 88 here, and back with my third video on my channel. This is going to be how to completely solve the rest of your 3x3 Rubik's Cube. Um, if you do hear um, some noise, it's just my cousin in the background. So yes, so this is how to solve the last layer. So there are two steps, there are OLL and PLL. OLL is orientation, aka it solves the whole top yellow side. PLL solves the last layer. So here I'll give you an example. Um, right here um, are three uh, cases for your last layer. So once you have your um, first two layers completed, and now if you look on your yellow side, you could have one of three of these. You could have just one yellow dot with none of the four edges. So you on your on your so look at your yellow side. You could just have one yellow dot just like this. You could have. Just like a, a yellow line that's going straight across. There's just one yellow line just like that. Or you could have this L-shaped thing. So this is, so, so, so it, it could be down here. So you, have, or you could have an L. So let's go over the first case, which is the um, dot. So if you just have the one yellow dot in the middle, you can hold the cube whichever way you want. Just making sure that the white's on the bottom and the yellow's on top. If you have the one yellow dot in the middle, make sure that the white's on bottom and the yellow's on top. And just this is just if you have the one yellow dot. Hold whichever way you want. If you have the one yellow dot, and then do this algorithm. F R U R prime U prime f prime and now we have the l so um now once you have the um l you're going to hold it so the l is up here in the top left so hold it just like this so this l is in the top left just like this and then do this algorithm f u r u prime r prime f prime and now, our goal is to get the yellow cross, and we do have the yellow cross. So if you have the bar straight across, just like this, if it's like this, if it's up and down, you're going to turn it so the bar is horizontal. So hold it just like this, and then do this algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Now we have, oh, we don't have the yellow cross the heck oh that's why because one of the um um middle layer edges weren't solved there we go so once again um so if you do have the um bar straight across so i have the alley go I, I get the bar so if you have the bar straight across hold it so it's horizontal and then do f r u r prime u prime f prime and now you have the yellow cross Okay, so now, to, in order to solve the yellow corners, and this solves the whole yellow side, there are three cases. The first case is where you have your yellow cross with none of the yellow corners, so you just have the yellow cross. The second case is you have the yellow cross, but with two of the same yellow corners on the same um, sides, like this. Or, you have a case where you have the yellow cross with just one yellow corner. The first case we'll go over in order to solve the whole yellow side is just the yellow cross, just like this. Uh, if you have the yellow cross, you're actually going to um, hold it so you have, I call these headlights. Two of the same um, corners over here. So these two are yellow. Hold it. So these two of the same yellow corners are facing on the left. And then do this algorithm. R U R prime U R U two R prime. Now we have the cross with the one yellow dot. You have the cross with the one yellow dot, you're gonna hold it so it's in the bottom left, and then do this algorithm once again. R U 
R prime. U R U two R prime. Now you have solved the yellow side. Let me just solve this case here. Okay, so and now if you have the case with the yellow cross with the same corners, you're gonna hold them so these two are the same are facing in the back, so just like this, and then do the algorithm again. R U R prime U R U two R prime. Now we have the cross with no, with none. Find one with two of the same. You're gonna hold it so they're on the left. The two same yellows are on the left, and then do the, this again. R U R prime U R U two R prime. Now you have the cross with the one yellow corner. Hold the one yellow corner so it's in the bottom left. And then do R U R prime U R U two R prime. You have solved the yellow. Okay, so for the final step, there are two possible cases that you could have. Two possible cases are, one, if you have uh, two of the same corners. So these, all these three might be solved. But as long as you just have two of the same corners, so these two are red. Are you going to do if you have two of the same corners? So in this case, these two are red. Then match it up with its side. So match these. So if so, these are the same colors. They're both red. You're gonna match it up into because these are red. You're gonna match it up onto the red side. If you have no the same corners, where all the same corners are different colors, hold the key whichever way you want, and hold it and hold it whichever you want. If you have no same corners, and then do this algorithm. R prime. F. R prime B two R F prime R prime B two R two. Now you have two reds matched up so they are on its side, and now if you have the same corners you're going to the two reds match up on that side. Hold that side actually in the back. So the side with the two same corners, hold this in the way back, and then do the algorithm once again. R prime F R prime B two R F prime R prime B two R two. I have the same corners on every side. Now, all that's left is these edges. Okay, so in solving the edges, there are two possible combinations that you could have. When you look at a face directly, if you hold it so the white to the red side is facing you, and look at this color. Uh, if it's blue, and if the blue is of this color, ooh, thunder. If this um, color, if this color that's facing you is on the left, then you're going clockwise. So if this color is on the left, you're going clockwise. This is the clockwise algorithm. R2, U, R, U, R prime. U prime, R prime, U prime, R prime, U, R prime. Now you have a solve side. If you have a solve side, hold the solve side in the back, and then do the algorithm again. R two, U, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, U prime, R prime, U, R prime. The key is solved. If you have a combination where if this color that's facing you, so this red is actually on the opposite side, this is counterclockwise. This is the counterclockwise algorithm. This is also known as Y perm. M 
to U M two U two M two U M two and you gotta solve your Rubik's Cube. C congratulations. So that is how to solve the um, Rubik's Cube. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Let us solve these. Thank you to my four Rubik's Cubes for helping me out today. Uh, I don't know why I just said that. But yeah, it's dark out. It's thunder. Uh, thanks to my cousin for singing in the background. That's how to solve the Rubik's Cube. And it is thundering out. So uh, some very useless information there at the end. But hey, who cares? At least it's solving your Rubik's Cube. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. My series is done for solving the Rubik's Cube. In tomorrow's video, there's going to be some cool patterns. Rubik's Cube patterns. Alright, please subscribe. Good night. Bye-bye.